Our first speaker started his scouting journey as a Cub Scout in 2007. Now Eagle Scout Christopher Pritza of Troop 99 credits scouting for teaching him the valuable skills he needs to face as his job as a firefighter paramedic with the Valley Fire Department. He's currently a senior at Creighton University. Christopher is studying emergency medical services, plans to continue his education to achieve his critical care paramedic license and his master's degree. Let's give a warm welcome to Christopher Pritza. Thanks, Mr. McCarthy, for that introduction. As you mentioned, my name is Christopher Pritza. I'm an Eagle Scout from Troop 99 and currently a volunteer firefighter paramedic in Valley, Nebraska. Contrary to what the slide said, I go to Creighton University. So, appreciate that, though. I got my start in EMS, or emergency medical services, at a pretty young age. As most Cub Scout packs do, we took a tour of our local fire station and spent an hour or two looking around, looking at the big, shiny fire trucks, in learning about fire safety. If I think back, that was the moment that my career plan really clicked in my head. I had the idea of dropping everything you could do and going to help people. That was like the coolest thing you could possibly do and the best way that I could make a mark on my community. Moving forward in my scouting career, I bridged over to Boy Scouts. The first merit badge we earned, rightfully so, was the first aid merit badge. Our instructors taught us CPR, how to handle a choking victim, and how to stop the bleeding. All skills that I use on a monthly basis. This merit badge was the first of many to give me the tools in my tool books, as I call them. While these tools are very niche by themselves, they would soon be joined by greater skills such as leadership, communication, responsibility, and critical thinking. Prior to my time in scouting, I really struggled to find passions in my life that were worth pursuing and excelling at. On one of the very first campouts, I can recall being super excited and eager to go camping for a weekend, get away from my parents, learn to start fires, and have fun in the woods with my friends. What I got instead was a grade A lesson of the Boy Scout motto, be prepared. The first night of camp, it snowed and was well below freezing, and trust me, I felt every degree of it in my summer four-person tent and in my sleeping bag designed for nothing more than sleeping over at your friend's house. The next day, clear blue skies and 50 degrees. Welcome to camping in Nebraska. A good news is that I wasn't the only woefully unprepared scout, because I recall our scoutmaster driving into Fremont the next morning and returning with a Walmart-sized bag full of dry socks. We spent the next day learning how to start fires with wet wood and how to properly tie knots to help your rain fly not fly away at 3 a.m. While some people would swear off camping after an event like this, I was exhilarated. I wanted to do it again, and this time I wanted to be better prepared for what was thrown my way. As I moved up the ranks in scouting, I started to look up to many of the adult and scout leaders. I was enthralled with the way that people cared and what they had to say, and how their personalities and leadership tactics could get even the most stubborn scouts excited to get out of bed on a freezing cold, windy morning. It was these leaders whose personalities and character traits I still actively try to emulate in my everyday life. One leader in particular was the current scoutmaster of Troop 99, Mr. Ray Stopa. As a young, impressionable young scout, it's important to be set on the right path early on. Mr. Stopa gave me that guidance from day one all the way through my Eagle Scout ceremony. He taught me, and more importantly, he lived every lesson that he taught us scouts. The most poignant memory that I have of him is to lead by example. We should hold ourselves to the same standards that we hold our members to, because at the end of the day, they're following us, not our decisions and not our speeches. When something needed to be cleaned up, you can bet Mr. Stopa was the first one there to grab a mop and start cleaning. That specific lesson with mopping has helped me very a lot of times on the fire departments. When you get into high school, many people expect their scouting to take a back seat to the hustle and bustle of a new school year and new friends. While this might be the case for some, I found that scouting played a pivotal role in my high school experience at Creighton Prep. I sought to become a better leader like the older scouts in my troop, so I got involved everywhere I could. From campus ministry to tennis, you name it, I was probably involved in it at one point or another. As I grew older, I found that campus ministry, specifically retreat meet leadership, was my thing. I was partnered with my friend Colin Lefebvre, also an Eagle Scout, to lead the retreats committee for our school, in charge of planning and coordinating all the retreats for our entire school. Through that, I was introduced to David Kirchhofer, 
Without knowing at the time, I was meeting the man who received my mentor pin at my Eagle Scout ceremony. Kirch, as we call him, was a firefighter paramedic on Omaha Fire Department. He's the mentor I credit with planting the seed of paramedicine and firefighting in my head. He impressed on me the importance of communication in both everyday life and on the fire ground. Nothing can happen without communication. Communication is the difference between your catapult looking like firewood or launching your water balloon way over the fence. On the fire ground, it can be the difference between life and death. In my role as a first responder, I do owe everything I owe I have to scouting. The scout motto, be prepared, has been the motto that I have revolved my entire life around as long as I can remember. Whether that being, means being ready to respond at a moment's notice in the fire department, or just being ready for a day, hard day at work or school. In the moments of stress and panic, we always default back to our most basic level of training. I'm blessed that that basic level of training was instilled in me by scouts. In order to be the most prepared I can possibly be, I'm currently continuing my education and in the process of completing my flight paramedic certification and earning my master's at Creighton University in EMS leadership. Before I hand this mic back over, I want to talk to the young scouts in the room here today. I want to challenge you guys on two things. One, go explore all aspects of scouting. Who knows, you might find your career path in one of those more obscure merit badges. And the second is to be a sponge. This advice was given to me on the first day of paramedic school by one of my preceptors. It's extremely applicable in this stage of your life as well. No one expects you to know everything about everything. Go to campouts, meetings, and just absorb all the information you possibly can of your peers and those leaders around you. Those are the experts that you want to learn from. Your future self will thank you. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>